Hi, this is David from 360 Immersive, and today we have the pleasure of doing another walk and talk, and it's beautiful fall in Boise. And more so, we have the pleasure today of introducing our newest family member in the 360 Immersive family, and that is Jennifer Quinn, or what she commonly goes by is her brand, which is Jenny Q. Now, Jenny, can you tell us a little bit about how you joined us, why you joined us, and what you bring to the table? Yeah, I'd love to. First, I want to say it is absolutely a delight and an honor to be a part of the 360 Immersive family. Actually, David, you and I met uh, along with Jennifer Laster, the CEO. We met three years yep, ago that is right. at the Idaho Virtual Reality Council founding members bash. And it, it, what's cool is they're located right over there. They are. And so it's awesome to have this connection. And of course, we've worked on a few projects together. We have. And I am what I would consider an early adopter of technology. Not necessarily the equipment and all of that, but how technology advances human communication and human connection. So can you tell us a little bit about connections? What does that mean? Absolutely, absolutely. So, my, so I have a digital marketing company that I've had since 2007. And I've watched as the uh, technology has evolved that people from all over the world are connecting. And it's been so exciting. Twitter's what really caught my attention. I mean, if we're being honest, it was back in the day with Yahoo Chats. I'm like, these chat rooms were amazing the way that people from all over the world were connecting, right? But then, Twitter. And I, I was fascinated at the psychology behind it because real connections were being made. And in a hundred and what, 140? 140 characters at the time. Yeah, characters. yeah. Real connections were being made, business was being conducted, and human relationships were being built. Well, then in 2015, I was introduced to Periscope, which is a live streaming app on your mobile device. And, and it's all about video. 100% video, right? And I saw the same thing happen on Periscope that happened on Twitter. It was magical. I was invited to attend summits in New York City and San Francisco with the people who met on Periscope. And it wasn't, here's what made it a different summit or a different co conference. These weren't people who were in the same industry. These were people who connected through live streaming. So we had professionals and we had, uh, you know, people who created crafts in their home and we had people who were writing books yep. and we all came together because we had built that real connection via video. Cut to IVRC and meeting you and Jen and I was like, okay, virtual reality is magical. And so it just so happened that the timing was right for us to do business together and I'm super excited to uh, announce really for the first time publicly that I am the CMO or Chief Marketing Officer of 360 Immersive. That is right. So tell us a little bit, what, you talk about VR being magical. Yes. Well, what does that mean? <laughs> well, the best way to explain it is an experience that I had at one of the uh, IVRC bashes where I thought, oh, this is nothing. I'll just jump on Richie's plank and I'll just do my thing, right? I was, I put the VR goggles on and I thought, my brain knows this isn't real. I'm gonna be just fine. I couldn't even walk out on the ledge because it felt so real. I was completely immersed and it, it kind of, you probably know better the technical thing that it did, but it hijacked my logical brain and took me fully into the experience. Well, what it did is yeah. it took you into an alternative reality and okay. that's the word you know, virtual reality. We And that if you think about it from a training or marketing standpoint where we can move people and we can help influence them, we can make them safer in the workplace, we can give them, we can give brands a new platform that they can, they can promote their products or their, their ideas, all from an, uh, a way that we haven't been able to do it forever. So much. In fact, to your point, the other day, I had the experience of using, uh, demoing one of our apps, and it was in a construction site, and I, as the participant, I was to identify the safety hazards, yeah. and it was really cool the way that it gave me immediate feedback. Yes, 
this is a safety hazard. But what surprised me is there was a point where I actually stepped into a safety hazard and it was as if there was an avalanche landing on top of me, which made it much more personal. Because it was a consequence. You made some choices <laughs> in the simulation <laughs> and then you, you, in this case, you accidentally chose the, a, a poor choice and bad things happen. Right. And that's what's great about this technology is that we can simulate what happens in real life without harming anybody, but they learn from it. Yes. And it's so impactful because a year from now, after people will go through this simulation, they'll still remember it. They'll still remember the learning and the objectives, and that's what's magical. Well, no question, because when I did that plank exercise, that was about a year or two ago, and I can still feel the anxiety that came over me. And all I was doing, I just had VR goggles on, and I was just standing on ground just like this, yeah. and it freaked me out. So we have some exciting new, uh, I'm gonna say initiatives for yes, 2020. Yes, we do. And let's talk a little bit about, uh, I don't wanna give away the magic, no. but let's talk a little bit about what's coming up. So we have a, a whole suite of off-the-shelf VR products, yep. especially in for catering to the safety, workforce development, compliance, uh, we have a new program that teaches people how to create their own VR. Mm -hmm. And we have the platform that kind of weaves it all together so that it can be seamlessly, seamlessly distributed and implemented because that's the biggest thing is implementation in the classroom, in the training room, at a trade show, if it's a marketing component. I haven't given away too much. No, have you I? haven't. But I want to say the thing that's compelling about this is you are making, I, oops, I have to say we, we are making the virtual reality experience available to any company, corporation, even a small business who wants to utilize virtual reality for training, right? Because not only is it more effective, but it's more appealing and more engaging. And what's the key factor is affordability. Affordability, and Absolutely. that is what, boom, we're nailing. Yep. Okay. Okay. We, we can't tell more. Look, <laughs> thank you for joining us today. Jenny Q, all the folks that, that share our feeds, social media, YouTube, hit our website. We thank you for following us and uh, we'll catch you next time. Awesome. Thanks guys.